Let him take his cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for March the 27, 2022, according to St. Mark. When he had called the people to himself, with his disciples also, he said to them, Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, that there are some standing here who will not taste death till they see the kingdom of God present with power. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Is it convenient for you to follow the Christ? If you want to be saved, if you want to enter into heaven and not be condemned into hell, by all means, yes, we need to follow him. There is no, no free salvation. And even as we are not saved by our own actions, the way that we live implies the way that we trust. Whom do we trust? Do we, trust, do we really trust God? Or do we just say that we believe in Him and do whatever we want? Now, what is that cross? Is this the cross that the Lord is talking about? Should you buy one of these? Not at all. This cross reminds me of Him who loved me when I was a sinner and gave Himself up for me and for you. So what cross is the one that we should pick up? Well, imagine for one moment that today in the afternoon I get home and I see my wife of 36 years and she looks at me and she says, you know, I love you, but I've been going out with another man for the last three years. I'm in love with him and I'm leaving you today. That would be a cross for me. For thank to God and up to my strength, I have been faithful to her. That would be the cross that God gives me. But if I had been having several affairs with women through the years, apparently with, without her knowing, and then this happens, is it still the cross that God has given me? By no means. Because that would be the result of my bad actions, what I deserve, basically. Same thing if I go out on a rage, rampage driving, and all of a sudden somebody kills me, is that the cross that God gave me? By no means. Because I incited that out of my own actions. So, the cross is that what we receive when we are behaving well. Certainly God will give us medicine for our wickedness that we might turn around to Him. But it's not exactly the cross, that is correction. See how the Lord Jesus Christ did not have any, even the shade of a sin and yet he was given this incredible cross to bear. Absolutely unjust, but according to the plan of God, totally justified. Some stupid people say that he paid the ransom for you and me to the devil, or to the world, or to whatever. And that's just sheer stupidity. God did pay the ransom to whom? To himself, to his righteousness. Because there cannot be righteousness and mercy if there is no truth. 
and there cannot be any mercy, any truthful mercy, if there is no righteousness and justice. So because of what we had done, of our transgressions, we were doomed to die. And he incarnated to pay for our own debts with his own death, he being an innocent man. So the cross that we are venerating and adoring today basically reminds us how great this love is for you and me, that he has paid for your sins and mine, provided that we heed him and obey him. Otherwise, we cannot accept that blood, and it cannot be shed for you unless you obey him and accept him as God. I would like to thank everyone that so far has helped us. We are, like I said before Pascha, I hope to have really nice our little chapel. Right before that time, I will make a little um, video on it showing all the improvements that we're doing and especially working on the uh, legal papers for, for the donation that we receive of the land, that it might be finally in the OCNA, OCA's name. Thank you all. God bless you. For blessed is our God, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.